Hey, what's, what's going on, guys? Oh, how's everybody's quarantine going? Are we pretty much laying low? How'd you guys do today? I did about six, 6,300 on the core side, a little bit of day trading and a few accounts. Um, just the prop book, did I think 1,500 in London. Um, but I wanted to see how you guys did. There was um, a couple good lessons on vol today. And <clears throat> I haven't really talked about or done an update on the kind of where we're at, um, big global macro on what I think's kind of the next big move. We've already seen this bond move play out. We can talk about that a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do a webinar Thursday. I'm a little bit, you guys that are on the prop team know I'm kind of under the weather. I'll probably be feeling better tomorrow. Um, but if I, my voice holds up, then I'd like to do a webinar Thursday and I'm going to talk about some of these bigger picture <clears throat> plays that are coming, uh, global macro, kind of the framework I think sets up nicely. Um, some trade ideas. And then we'll just talk about the prop team. So uh, I'll highlight here what I'm doing on, some of you are asking me to go over the implied vol on UVXY. And some of you may or may not know that's one of our favorite strategies. So I'll hit on just, just finished what I was talking to you guys about this morning. Um, and I'm going to post this morning's session in the, uh, I'll put it in the cycle edge membership members area. So you guys want to go back in there and get a, a feel for kind of what we were working on on the options side of things. And this is the stuff that we do on the options edge and the options, the options group. But guys, just selling UVXY today, I did it twice, sold 100 strike calls that expire Wednesday, it was two grand worth of profits. The, the membership is 2,000 bucks for a year. Um, and it's, uh, it's, that's 2,000 bucks a year. If you want a lifetime membership, it's three grand. So you pay for it literally in one session. Um, but you don't want to miss this fall trade. It's one of the best strategies we have. <clears throat> if you guys aren't learning the option side of things, you're really missing out on a lot of extra juice and profits from your investments, your hedging, your core and swing trades. So this might be a longer video, <clears throat> but I'll hit on that. And then real quick also, through the end of this month, just because the markets are so nuts and there's a ton of people just losing their ass. And meanwhile, we're actually having a record. I've had record days, record weeks, the last several weeks, record month, record quarter. Um, the numbers that we were putting up, I mean, this, in this environment, we've just been all over it. So, I mean, I used, <clears throat> I used to put down days, we do come in in the morning, do 55 grand before the stock open. The next day come in, do 25. The next day come in, do 27, 32. But I'm just trading 10 times the amount of capital. I mean, I had a 20 million I was trading with, up to 100 million, sometimes intraday 200 million tens. So we were, you know, I was trading with different swaps guys and rates guys, and some of those guys were having million dollar days. And, um, but if you look at the percentage gains that we're having, I mean, doing 40 grand on a Sunday night, and some of you, we've, I've seen $15,000 accounts that you guys have are going to eight, you're already up to 80, 90,000. And it's not even the end of March from the beginning of the year. So that's the type of stuff when you catch the turn and you catch a big cycle top, it's just some of the best trading you're going to get. And then um, you're going to make the most money in the down market. So if you guys, I'm going to open up the cycle edge a dollar for the rest of the month. And then what I'm going to do is just go to 250 bucks for the entire year. So less than a good night out, <clears throat> a good date night out, you know, for a financial membership, you're, you're basically 24 seven, every trade that we do for 250 bucks. You can't beat it, but come in and get a trial and just, be a part of the group and the calls that we're making. You guys aren't a part of us only for a buck. So the way you can get, I'll, I'll go ahead and change the pricing tonight on the cycle edge. You go, go to JenkinsCM.com. 
Um, <clears throat> Jenkinscm.com. This is the options membership I was just talking about. Six thousand dollar value. It's three three thousand bucks lifetime. It's fifty percent off. I haven't changed that. Normally, it's going to be two grand a year. But go to memberships. I'll change this tonight. Cycle Edge. It used to be fifty bucks a month. So now instead of six hundred bucks a year. But just come check us out for a dollar through the end of March, all right? All right, into the chats. Um, what are you guys doing for St. Patrick's Day? I'm drinking a screen sludge at the moment. I'm going to have to try to find, I think, some whiskey to, to uh, knock this virus out. I do have my, I do have my Irish shirt on. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> it's a nice day out here. Okay, so let me shrink, shrink this up. Good. The only bad part about sitting out here is it's hard to see the screen. <clears throat> okay, so. If you were, I was tweeting out this morning, I was up for London. It was just, just a lot of experience, a bit of feel, but really just looking at the edges is, is saying that, all right, we have a really good shot here. If you look at S&Ps on the weekly level as to why we might get a bounce. And <clears throat> with some, a little bit of sentiment, you can see a lot of the retail amateur crowd was getting all bold up on volatility right on the highs. And, but it's a little bit simpler than that. So I put out on, in the room today is that it did 8.6 or a nine, nine, day, uh, nine week cycle here off the lows in December. And we did another one, cycled into a low, kind of a half cycle move up back down and then two cycles into the high. And then this last move kind of really coincided with the top in the, um, the ECM right there on the 18th, 19th. And then here we are eight weeks into pi. So when you look at eight times eight, so eight cycles at about eight days is 64. Divide that by two, you get pi, basically pi times 10, 30, 32. <clears throat> the reason you divide by two is just because you're cycling up and then cycling back down. So it's basically a full pie cycle away. Pie here in time on the low, and then we cycled up and now we're back down. <clears throat> so there is a good chance for a turning point. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so then you had the RSI, the Stochastic was low. RSI is completely beat up. You got the pie line there. So we can still have a two to three day bounce out of here. But the point I want to make is it's not about trying to always figure out, are we going to bounce? I went over this a little bit the other day. I want you to, there was plenty of chances to take longs today on top of your shorts. So there's time to feed into your shorts. There's time to cover those. There's time to cover your shorts, feed into a little bit of long. You can have long and shorts, but still be bare. You can still have more treasuries than you have long the Dow. You can still have, you know, I can be short the VIX, but I can still be long tens and Euro dollars and a little bit of gold, which is typically risk off, um, short the Russell. So it's a little bit of feel when you start to incorporate all those things that <clears throat> but today I had an update, even though I'm a bearish, even though we've been bearish, because I'll zoom in, because of I took some contrarian trades on the VIX early. So right when everybody was saying you're crazy, the VIX is going higher, don't forget where the VIX is. It's like sold the high at 74, covered 72. Um 
sold 62, covered back 61 and a quarter. And when you're, these are pretty big moves on the VIX. So you get paid a lot per tick. It costs you a lot of buying power now that they increase the margins. And as that, the handle goes up, you know, but it's, you're also going to make more. So you don't have to sit in these things for the full move. Now this, I could have sat in this for longer, but I don't want to tie up a lot of my buying power. So I might be quicker to cover some a short on the VIX, which is a risk on play. And then work into the Dow at the right edge, at the right spot. So did that a couple times today. <clears throat> the trades off. Um, so here we went long, went long again, still long into the close. Um, but then still was playing the short book in S and P's could have sold better in S and P's, but again, I had, I was kind of fading UVXY. So that's the stuff that we work on is like, okay, you know, you can, Maybe you want to beef up your UVXY, which is the same as shorting the VIX, which is the same as being long S&Ps. So <clears throat> anyway, this, you guys got to be kind of a part of the teams to get a feel for, for how to work all this stuff. But it can be learned. It's not, and maybe it sounds complicated, but, you know, I break it down pretty simply. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I guess just directionally, 2,400, we, we were pretty sticky at, and then the intraday low, we held this big level down here at 2,350. So you technically have a double bottom, again, with the weekly cycles, which sets you up for maybe a stronger move back up. And after this move to a new high today, this is pretty classic day trading. When you get a move like that, big strong wall, and you go from a low and you break this prior high to a new high, the next pullback after a new high, you should not be expecting to get back to the lows. You should be expecting a retracement that holds. And then that's what you got. That's a key, 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 key lesson in markets. A move to a low to a new high you're unlikely to revisit the prior low. You're gonna get a higher low and then you get the bounce. And then I covered here at Pi what I sold short. And then I was uh, coming out of the Dow at the same time. So I hope that makes sense is that <clears throat> I don't even need to know whether or not we're gonna bounce for two to three days. I just know that I'm willing to have some longs on them, be willing to be long the Dow and keep buying the dips if in fact we do rally and then i'll be a little bit more patient putting out shorts with the four hour cycle or the daily cycle daily cycle can come up here look at the distance we are below the eight so you don't want to press shorts today wasn't i said in this this morning today was a spot where you're recovering and maybe thinking about getting long longer on your long names doesn't mean you outright flip and just go one side all in that long that's how most of the amateurs are used to trading they either have to be one way or the other they have no clue how to tr trade both sides of the market over multiple durations i can be day trade bullish but then shorting the long term <clears throat> Well, with that said, we'll just jump to UVXY. So I can be day trading this. I can be fading it big picture. Same kind of, kind of like I did with Tesla. You're fading. I said when you start this trade, because we're entering a, a time where we could be entering a bull market and the cycle turned, recession, blah, blah, blah. You're going to you get some really big moves in the VIX. So don't forget, we were initially long VIX calls. We've been playing the VIX futures on the long side, which means you can play UVXY on the long side, but then you can work into a longer term core short at the same time. Um, and I've said that I'll put 
I usually will put this on between three to 10 entries, three to four, if, if you're kind of a smaller account, you just gotta be patient. But then there's times to trade it around. So we sell some well, we cover some back. That allows us to put some out on the next rally, cover some back, put some out on the next rally. But I'm gonna start working this more intraday with the options edge group to where we're selling 100 strike calls covering, sold some 100 strike call, calls covered. <clears throat> and like, and you know, I was, um, so this, I mean, right here, it's really hard to see. There's two grand on these UVXY 100 calls today. They expired three days, Friday. I kept selling like seven eights and then I ended up covering like five. So I think a couple times, I don't remember what my first cover was. And that was just on five contracts. So that pays for your entire membership, lifetime membership. Plus you're gonna get the entire course, my model. I'm gonna teach you these ratio back spreads. Um, but this, this UVXY, I'll talk about this more Thursday. You don't get a chance to sell this VIX like this very often. Most people don't have a clue to how to do it. UVXY will get cut in half. So whether the high is 120 or today at 99, this thing will get cut in half just based on the VIX futures role and the nature of the decay of these levered ETFs. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up on the internet look up ETFs decay, that's something you need to be aware of. But these triple, double, triple levered <coughs> ETFs naturally drift towards the bottom right of your screen, towards um, downward in price. So this, this cannot and will not stay up at these levels. Now, I mean, is it possible that something happens, it blows up and the ETF just goes away? Yeah, but... Um, Actually, that type of collapse would probably be to the downside. <clears throat> anyway, that's why you're playing the options. If you just wanted it short, so I'm telling you guys right now, there's an opportunity here to make forty, fifty thousand dollars just on being short five hundred to a thousand share delta via options, and instead of taking a hundred thousand dollar short position, we have unlimited upside. I show you to use a back ratio and the right puts and to trade it around, or I have this trade on right now for um, uh, I think seven grand in buying power. Yeah, I had a snapshot of it. <clears throat> There's the BP. <laughs> my UVXY has only cost me 2,500 buying power. And my Delta, I'll tell you is about, well, this is at the time I actually added some puts. I added some more puts into the close to keep this around 500. So I'm playing right now a 500 share position short, controlling 500 shares for 5,000 bucks, let's call it roughly. Whereas if you want to use the outright, you're shorting this so again with unlimited upside, the puts, I know exactly what I can lose and I can control the same amount of shares. So when my buying power is five grand versus a hundred thousand dollar position, but you tie up all your buying power. And if this, if I keep a 500 to a thousand share core position, this thing's going to get cut in half, at least to 40. And I don't know if it's gonna happen next month or by September, but we're out playing the June month. We're selling calls in the front end, taking advantage of the implied volatility, which we'll talk about next. It's a $50,000 trade and you're playing it with five to 10 grand to 10 X. And I've done this seven or eight times on these big, big, big um, cycle moves where you blow out the vol 2015. Um, 2017, 18 had big move in the VIX. You had a big move in the VIX 13, 14, and then 2008. Um, <clears throat> just 
This is what it is. So it's one of our best strategies. Now on the, what I want to talk about implied vol. Hmm. Well, the last couple of sips are always a little bit cloudy, a little bit muddy. Uh, with this chart. Where is it? Just give it a second. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I was going to go over this a little bit with the options in the in the cycle edge room today, guys. This is with implied ball and the VIX as high as it is. Let me show you this chart. You should throw. You should have a kind of implied volatility up. It shows you what people are willing to pay for their options relative to. It's not the realized ball. Here's the VIX. We have implied ball one, one twenty. We're up at two. Just massive run. <clears throat> so you're getting, you're getting such pricey options, both calls and puts that you want to be a seller. I mean, you always want to be a seller of the time and the premium for the most part, but you can really take advantage of some of this. And this is true when we're trading the S and P around. And a lot of times I've been selling calls out a day or expiring that same day. You can take advantage of the same time decay, but the implied vol, you can really see the difference. <clears throat> and so here's this is how you read this. These are the calls. March 20th, March 27th. So these are this week and next week. All right. People are paying. Here's the strikes. People are buying these calls and selling calls, but they're there's mostly a lot of people chasing. They're buying these upside 100 strike calls or 110 strike calls because they're just thinking this the VIX is never going to stop or they got to hedge themselves. But it's a lot of just speculation. But this is crazy. If you're buying outright calls out a week, three days out, and you're paying 400%, <clears throat> you're a sucker. So I was selling those 100 strikes out three days and getting, getting paid this. And then we're over here. Again, we're not, I'm not buying this purple line is the front line. We're not buying and speculating. Those, those calls can expire worthless. Time is just evaporating on you. We're out here in June. Okay, this gray line. Look at the gray line. All right. 200% and it's just very calm. All the speculation is not what you want to be doing. You could even go out September. All right. And so, yeah, you pay more in time, but don't forget, we're also selling June calls against or selling June puts against what we're, what we're buying. So that's how you play these markets, guys. This is how you play ball professionally and make money from it. <clears throat> all right, I think, I think that's all I have. Um, I got a bunch of work to do tonight. I just really wanna get that switched over. Guys, uh, join our chat room. I'd like to start maybe a live stream a couple times a week. That might be even easier place for you just to get involved with us if you're new. Um, to join the chat, it's a free chat. Just go to JenkinsCM.com.
Maybe I should clean this up, huh? Jacobcm.com chat room. And then I can invite you in. Um the course is there if you want to go at your own. Like I said, this mem cycle edge membership is a no-brainer. But you guys should be doing the options of the prop program. I've got people on the prop program helping you get funded, giving you all my courses. You get to work with me every day, trading live together. There's no better way to learn, ask questions, but <clears throat> I mean, we can work on the psychology of trading, anything, anything, and we're just together all day. So you get a huge amount of my time for literally nothing. I mean, charge ten grand a month for institutional guys, and some, some even more, and you're gonna get an entire year for three thousand bucks or five thousand bucks. I have it at now. Um, Maybe I'll do another discount in April. But again, I don't think you want to be waiting around. So I have guys going through in three days doing nine grand hitting uh, the first levels of that top set program. So anyway, I'll talk more about that Thursday. But <clears throat> well, you guys enjoy your uh, St. Patty's Day. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably going to be pretty eventful. And... Um, I'll try to rest up and be back on in the morning. We'll see if we get some follow through in equities or not. All right, guys, have a great rest of your night. We'll talk to you.